Here we go, the business end of the season, and what a business end it is. Uh, we are playing Newcastle at home in the Premier League. It's a crucial, crucial match. You can see we've got the past meetings up here. Uh, we're unbeaten against them at the moment, which is great. Hopefully that will continue today. Hopefully we get a repeat of this little 5-1 that we had last season. Uh, that would be lovely. I've just been having a quick look at the Europa League. And if we do as I, I expect, um, and we get through against Mainz, the semi-final first leg is on the 27th of April, right when we've got Leicester City and that game has already been shunted so many times this season. It's going to end up being in this last little period of the season here, I think, in the end, if we get through. The FA Cup final, I'm not sure. Would it be after the season? They mess around with it, don't they, the FA Cup final, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, it is even more crucial this game now because Tottenham beat Bournemouth which has put them up into fifth um, we really need a win uh, we've got that horrible run of games coming up against um, you know against United and Liverpool and Tottenham involved in that as well uh, we've got Chelsea at home in between the uh, to, uh, in between this episode and the next episode uh, we've got Chelsea as well so yeah if we win today it doesn't get us European qualification but if we lose I think we can kiss goodbye to Champions League qualification. I think that's how big this game is. Look at that as well. Is that Craig Dawson? It is Craig Dawson that scored the own goal for Tottenham. Thanks, Craig. That's wonderful news. Um, I've moved Declan Rice because if we have a look at his average rating over this, it's, it's, it's 6.95, which is pretty poor when you consider all the players that are on green average ratings. But he's been playing in the box-to-box -box role, so I've moved him into the centre mid attack just to see if that does anything for him. Alex Tellez is back from injury, so he comes in uh, left back to get some minutes. Uh, Nico Schlotterbeck, similarly, um, has recently returned from injury, so I'm giving him some game time. And it is my first choice front three, really, that is um, taking the field in Vlaovic. Uh, and then Adeyemi and Boga. Uh, speaking of Adeyemi... I think we're going to end up having a little problem with him in the summer. Um, and we'll come to that maybe uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but there are teams interested. And I'd be surprised if we start Season 3 with Adeyemi at the club. Right, let's, let's get into this. Let's pump fists. Go out there and put on a worthy display. That's motivated half a dozen of them. Including Adeyemi and Vlaovic. Which is a very good sign. Uh, we have to show our quality. Right, that's it. Three quick fire questions. I should have had a look at Newcastle's transfers. I haven't really been paying attention to them. Let's have a look at their, their lineup and see who they've got. So they've got Seferovic, Dwight McNeil. Um, quite a few new names in there. Um, so this is a massive, massive game. As we say, it's, it's, it's huge, isn't it? Uh, because if we win it, like I say... It strengthens our grip, but if we lose it, because of that hard run we've got coming, I think we're in trouble. I think we will still get a Europa League spot, but I want that top four. I want that progress. And I want to beat Newcastle to it as well. I'm not going to lie. So we're up there in now. We're just coming into the 10th minute. Here's Vlasic. Ben Johnson plays it in for Adi. Yay me. Oh, he's got a curl one. Oh, what a finish. From Karim Adeyemi. He has been tra Okay, we'll, we'll have a chat about it now. Seems like he's just scored a worldie. So Chelsea and PSG are after him. And when I signed him, there was a non-negotiable minimum fee release clause. Uh, because that is a wonder goal. Um, because he wanted to use the club as a stepping stone. And I can't remember exactly how much we paid for him. But the minimum fee was at like 74 million. And it's a huge, huge profit. As Alex Tellez... Corner cleared. Um, so I was happy with that. And now Chelsea and PSG are interested. And I think if I go in and offer a contract, for one, he's not going to he's, he's not going to be interested. As Maddy Camera hits the post. And then Grabara just about clears that. Um, yeah, I think, it, for, I think straight up he's just, because of the interest being shown elsewhere, I just don't think he'd be interested in negotiating. Secondly, if I did... He'd probably want like two or three times the money he's on now and probably a lower release clause as well. So the problem's going to be when I get an offer for him 
uh, do I immediately either reject it or ask for the release clause if it's not the release clause that's, that's, uh, that's offered? Um, bear in mind that if I reject an offer, he's going to come to me, isn't he, saying, ah, why did you reject? And we're going to end up having to negotiate an asking price of like 35 million or something ridiculous. So I'm, I'm, re I, I'm expecting to lose him, um, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can just negotiate up to the release clause immediately. Um, and I'm kind of also hoping that if I do ask for the release clause, it'll scare them off. But it's PSG and it's in the summer transfer window. They're going to have like a billion pounds to spend. So I don't think the release clause is going to be an, an issue for them. Um, but, I mean, it would represent an immense profit. And the, 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 the building we can do with that, it's, yeah, I think it's, it's one of the reasons that I was happy to have that release clause. Um, as we're in, Vlaovic has scored, but I've got a feeling he's going to be offside there. Um, so yeah, that's that's the dilemma we have with Adi Amy anyway. Um, yeah, he, he looked a bit too far forward there when Declan Rice played it through to him. Um, but it's a good start. It is a very, very good start. It's a shame because it was a brilliant finish from Vlaovic. Um, but we're straight in from that highlight. So yeah, that's what I hate about FM. That's one of the things I really, really hate about FM. Is it, is it just escalates? And I'm gonna, I'm, go they're gonna lowball me, PSG or Chelsea, whoever come in for Adiemi. They're gonna lowball me. They're gonna offer me like half his value. I'm gonna reject it. There, he's gonna get annoyed. And it, ugh. but then you go in for a, a 16 year old that's never kicked a ball, and the, his club want 180 million for him. Hate it. Hate the transfer side of FM. Um, right, Adiemi. Scored a worldie. Can he set one up here? He's played it across. It's headed away. Oh, and Richie's done well in midfield there. And he's played it through for Severovic. Held it up. Dwight McNeil. Lifts one in. Oh, and Severovic came out of nowhere with the header. But we are doing pretty well here. It's all about the result for the next couple of episodes because it's Newcastle and Mainz and then episode 25 is going to be Mainz and Newcastle because uh, we've got obviously we've got the Geordies in the FA Cup semi-final which I mean Europa League semi-final last season I'm expecting another one this season all due respect to Mainz and I'm expecting a, well and an FA Cup semi-final this time so yeah it's it, it's been phenomenal couple of seasons really right come on lads let's get that second goal Adi Yeim is probably going to have to come off because I want him for Mainz and I'll bring Jared Bowen on for him I'll just do that actually while the game's going on because it's the only one I'm going to do at the minute I've got Thierry Nevers my young winger on the bench but it's too big a game at the minute. A Severovic makes one save and then a block from the defender. And Severovic denied twice. Jared Bowen is now on a St. Maximan. Puts the corner in and Schlotterbeck with a big header. I think he's like six foot five. As Vlasic coming forward. Rice first time out to Bowen. Gets it out of his feet. Goes out wide. Vlasic back to Johnson. Early switch to Boga. Haven't seen Jeremy Boger in this game. He's been tackled, but Maddie Camera, and he's gone back out across to Ben Johnson. Good expansive play from the lads. Vlasic. This has got to end in a second goal, lads. Jared Bowen. Declan Rice! Oh! What a hit from Declan Rice. How he's still at the club, I don't know. Because every time I play an a, a Another save, not West Ham. He moves on. But I'm delighted that he's still at the club. Oh, that's a rocket. You do not save those. I mean, I'm delighted. I'm happy to keep Declan Rice for the whole series. You know, he's let him become an absolute legend. We're straight in from kickoff with the highlight. I always hate it when we see that as well. Soriano to Edwards. And they're knocking it around nicely here. 
St. Maximan. Clips it in, looking for Severovic. He has had chances today. He has had chances today. He is not a good striker, is he? Seferovic. Right, let's get into the squad. I think... Oh, I didn't really want to... Oh, I don't... Vlaovic is going to have to play the whole game. I'm going to bring Vlasic off for Pasolic. And Declan Rice for... Do you know what I'm going to give? Yeah, I'm going to... No. I'm going to give Loftus-Cheek some more minutes. And then, with a view to maybe Su Suchek starting in the Mainz game so they've gone through I'm going to praise the team as well this is a this is a massive massive result if we hold on to it it's a huge result absolutely huge in our quest for top four Johnson with a long throw Zuma's got up above the keeper and has headed it in and I think I think that is the first goal I've scored direct from a long throw and it's Kurt Zuma Ben Johnson with a big up and under Oh, and Camille Grabara. Oh, that was poor. That was poor from him. Expected because we had him on loan at Huddersfield from when he was at Liverpool. And um, he was all right. I mean, he's massive. He's like six foot six or something stupid. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's not great. He is not great. We should get that back at the, in defence here with Schlotterbeck. Oh, Johnson's giving it away. I mean, 3-0. I want the clean sheet. As Longstaff... Oh, that's a great finish. Matty Longstaff from Roberto Soriano's layoff. And I want to see that again. Alex Merritt there. Looks to be a poor starting position. It's a terrible pass from Ben Johnson. That is a woeful positioning from Alex Merritt. I mean, you might as well have been sat in the crowd, mate. What was the point? If this goes 3-2... I am fuming. Wow, they've got Granit Xhaka. Playing as a... He's either playing in a back three there or he's playing uh, like the half-back. The, the midfield role that drops back in between the centre-backs. Seferovic is in. What the hell was that from Seferovic? What did he do there? Was that a Rabona? Are we going to see... Let me see that again. Show that again. Oh, you, you are going to show it again. I want to see what he did here. It's a great ball in behind. What does he do? Oh, it was a little Ronaldo chop. That was outrageous, mate. You're not that good to be trying that. And Vlaovic gets his goal. It's 4-1. It is all over now. Is it the assist for Tellers? Yeah, it is, isn't it? All the way through. And it's a tidy finish at the back post. 4-1, but Newcastle... Not giving up by the look of it. Oh, but they've given it away. Maddie Kamara. Jeremy Boga didn't really get in there in support, did he? But that's going to be a, pa a penalty. One of the long staffs. I'm assuming Matty. So I'm, I'm not sure Sean's still at the club, actually. But it's one of the long staffs. It's going to be given. It is absolutely going to be given. I've no idea who's taking it. I'm guessing Vlaovic. It is Dusan. Straight down the middle and the keeper saves. Still in play. Pull back for Pasilic. Oh, that is a wonderful save from Kamil Grabari using every inch of his 12-foot frame. Corner comes in and Vlaovic heads over. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good for Dusan there, but it's not a great penalty. Always one of those when you... You put it down the middle. If the keeper stands up, you look a right numpty. But he's got a goal. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy in that respect. If he hadn't scored and then did that, I'd be annoyed. But that is a huge win. And I said I wanted a similar result to the 5-1. Uh, the and we weren't far off matching it. Only Jeremy Boga with a poor rating, really. I mean, the subs, all right. They haven't really contributed too much. Uh, Pasolic, well, to be fair, Pasolic had that wonderful shot, didn't he, just then? But that is a huge result. Uh, who gets the extra praise? It's Alex Tellez. Oh, and I might, might just have a little chat with Kurt as well. I'm very happy with you.
Kurt, you got an eight. I'm very happy with you as well. Massive, massive win. That gives us a bit of a cushion now. Uh, so, yeah, we are four points clear now with a game in hand on Tottenham. Brentford also have a game in hand. Um, the goal difference has dropped Newcastle down to seventh. The FA Cup could be a bit interesting, actually. Because there's only ourselves and Newcastle, if I remember rightly, who are looking at European places in the league. So it could potentially go to uh, go to the cup winner. Um, let's just have a have a quick look. Who who else was it? It was Watford and Barnsley. So we've got a probably relegated Premier League team and a Championship team in the other semi final. The winner surely comes from our semi, surely. But anyway, that's for the next episode. It's time to take on Mainz. Let's take a look at the opponents then. Mainz, null fun in the Bundesliga. They are currently 15th. Uh, Bo Svensson is their manager, I think. Is he their manager in real life? Yes, he is. Um, they, they're in a relegation battle. Uh, they were... <sighs> They've not had a good season at all. They are just above the relegation playoff. Six points cleared, so they've got a decent cushion. They've only got four games left in their season. But I think, I think we should. We should be winning this, to be honest. Um, all four games are going on at the same time, which is great. Uh, so we can keep, uh, keep track of them all. One or two changes that we've made, just saw it there. Um, we will... Just run through them. So Alex Tellez, he played for the under-23s in midweek as well. So he's he's tired. But he, what after we after this game, when we get into the Chelsea game, he'll be able to play pretty much every game, I think. Uh, ben Johnson's struggling. Uh, Julian Alvarez is on the bench after recovering from injury. And I'm resting Declan Rice at the moment um, because I got a little thing after the, uh, the Newcastle game, a little news item saying he needed a rest. Uh, so I'm just going to rest him for this game. Uh, Dusan Vlaovic as well is struggling a little bit, but kind of hoping he gets the job done in the first 60, 65 minutes. And then I can give Julian Alvarez a half an hour, uh, well, 25, 30 minutes maybe uh, up, uh, up front. As I say, I am confident that we, um, that we will get a good result here. Uh, but it, it, it's also at the back of my mind, it's, it's a banana skin. It is a banana skin. But there's nothing really there in their squad that really worries me. But that's, uh, that's not always a good thing, is it? Jeremy Boga is very important. Thomas Suchek playing in the uh, centre mid attack. See how that's going. I can always uh, switch him and uh, camera around, of course. That's going to be a tough formation to get through, you know. Let's drop an early encouraging. Wow, we've had five shots already in the opening four minutes. Um, Dusan Vlavic has taken a knock. That's not good. Oh, the head is over from uh, Maddy Kamara. So, what is it say? For, is it a bruised ankle for Dusan Vlavic? It's only bruised. You can play on, can't you? Owen Vindal to Boga. Oh, he's got the injured symbol next to him, though. I'm going to have to take him off. I might have to put Adeyemi up there. Here's Vlasic. Back to Soufal. Vlasic again. Whipped across. Jeremy Boga beaten to it. Vindal. Infield to Soche. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Camera. He's gone for goal and he scored a brilliant goal. What a finish that is. Absolute confidence in that. That's 11th of the season for him. Wow. He has been a superb signing. Maddy Camera. What a signing. Look at the run he makes. Look at that run. And it's a wicked finish. Really just keeper had no chance. Keeper had no chance. It's a bruised ankle. To Dusan Vlaovic. 
Surely, you're, what a ball from Alex Merritt. Um, surely you are, you're not going to go off injured with that. Surely not. Camera plays it forward for Vlaovic and he's in. Oh, it's a brilliant finish. It's 2-0. And the way this is going, I can take him off at half-time if he lasts. If his little bruised ankle doesn't force him to be stretched off. But what a finish. And it's Maddie Cameron with the assist. That touch takes it past the defender and then he just clips it over the keeper. And into that far corner. That is daylight between the teams already. Camera swung one out to the right looking for Adi Yemi. But Lentz has got to it. Forward for Stack. Long ball for... I mean, that is as aimless as it comes. Sufal to Vlasic. Lifted over. He was looking for camera, but it was a good defending and they're in. It's Jay Sung. Oh! No wonder they are 15th in the Bundesliga. That is a god-awful effort. Oh, that's Mateta. I like Mateta. He's a good player. Oh, he's, he is all left foot, clearly. Go with that with your right and you're putting it in. Let's drop a little praise in. Vlaovic has done alright. He's done 15 minutes since he had his leg snapped off. He's doing alright. Well played, mate. With one leg, you're doing well. But I am going to take him off at half-time. I think Julian Alvarez should be good for a half. We are... I, 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 we are secure with a 2-0. I, I came into this first leg... In my head, thinking we should be getting at least a three-goal margin here to go to Germany with. And I still maintain that. As Mateta heads over, uh, I'm thinking here, three or four nil. I think we should, be, we should be walking away with here. This is a good little move, though. Good combination out on the left. And uh, Mateta, always under, the, under it, though. I suppose we're dominating midfield, aren't we? Because we've got three centre mids to there too. So I guess... I guess we're kind of dominating possession because we've had 60%. So I guess that's probably why. It's because we've got a, an extra man in there. So what else is going on? It is 1-1 in every other game. We will play the winners of PSV Monaco as well. No idea who scored for Monaco. Mr. Nobody by the look of it. Um, right, pump fists. Things are going well, but you're capable of even better. And we will take on, take off Vlaovic and bring on Julian Alvarez. And see how he gets on. He hasn't had a lot of games, to be honest, Julian Alvarez. I mean, he's, he's struggled a little bit with, with injury, as Jim City is now looking a little bit, yeah, I'll, I'll take him off then because Jim City's not been in the team recently. I'm blessed with centre backs at the moment as Adi Amy. Oh, he went for that same top corner he found against Newcastle. He's ended up with the fans though, but he was unlucky. So I've only got one substitution left and I'm, I'm probably going to do uh, Jared on for Karim. Although Kurt Zuma's now looking knackered. But I can cover. I can. I like Kurt Zuma a lot, but I can cover for him. So I'm going to bring on Jared Bowen. A lot of tired players. So what I'm actually going to do... So I'm just going to drop it to that 4-3-3. The, just the lower... The lower tempo one. Um, and who's that put as the... Let's put Suchek there. Is he alright there? It's him or camera, really. Okay. That's as good as it gets. Let's just drop another little praise in. 2 nils not quite as comfortable a lead as I was hoping to build up. 
But at the moment, it's it's all about just getting that. I know away goal rule isn't a thing anymore, but I don't want to concede. So if we just see the game out now at 2-0, I'm happy enough with that. There's a, there's a tiny little bit of jeopardy as we go back to Germany with it. But it keeps the second leg interesting. That totally shut the game down, didn't it? We didn't even have a shot, I don't think, after we did that. Jar um, Julian Alvarez didn't do well when he came on. I'm just going to say that was a good result because we haven't really smashed them there as I would have liked. So Copenhagen beat Athletic Club 3-1 with a hat-trick from Rasmus Kurland, 20-year-old striker. Um, PSV got a win in stoppage time against Monaco and Tottenham and Lazio head back to Rome with a two-all draw. Vlaovic is injured and he's out for three days. Um, that would have that would have been the case anyway, regardless of if I'd left him on or taken him off. I've got a lot of tired players to worry about now as we've got another huge game coming up against Chelsea before we come back for the next episode and that trip to Germany and then Newcastle in the FA Cup semi-final. Oh my word, what a big video that one's going to be. Make sure you come back and join me for that one. For now though, smash a like on this, hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. We hit six goals there, that's pretty good. Two more wins, look at that run of greens. It is up to eight wins in a row now. I am desperate for that to get to 11 because it'll mean we'll be in the Europa League uh, semi-final, the FA Cup final and we would be nicely, nicely holding on to our Champions League spot. Come back for the next episode, it's going to be a big one. See you soon.